going to show you a secret passage to a top secret beach and that secret beach is Nirvana. So it's very difficult to get to Nirvana Beach from my home here on Goodley Beach and also from Orm Beach but it's meant to be one of the best beautiful places on earth, one of the best beaches here in India. So it's definitely a must-see, difficult to get to, unless you follow the secret passage. So today I'm going to show you that secret passage. It's going to involve a bus ride from Gokana to a port and then a boat ride on a barge. So yes, I will show you the way. And then I will compare it a bit to my home here on Cuddly Beach because this is actually Crazy Beach. Cuddly okay. Beach, aka Crazy Beach. So yeah, first and foremost, let me show you this secret passage to Nirvana Beach. So, all important ritual are having that day set for breakfast. So, um, I started from Cuddly Beach at about 7.30 this morning. It's now about 20 past 8. So yeah, I'm just stopping on the way for a uh, day set. Ooh. Has to be my favourite breakfast. So my aim is to get the port in the past nine bus to um, the port and I'm not sure how long that takes but I will inform you as soon as I find out and then from the bus that's when I take the boat but I've no idea where to go from then but that's the great thing about watching these vlogs uh, do you see how I do it and then of course you can do it for sure. bus and the name of the port that I need to go to is Tadri Port. So uh, the bus takes about 20 minutes from Gokana Station and it only costs 10 rupees so very cheap. 10 rupees is about 10 pence uh, UK pounds wise, 15 cents American dollars wise so yeah you can see how cheap it is. So I got off the bus behind me is a blue building and that blue building is basically round about where the bus stop is. So from the blue building, we just walk straight and then it's first right. village the port is straight ahead so this actually looks more like a working harbour doesn't it than a harbour that's going to take me on a boat to Nirvana
The first boat is going to take me to Agnati River, and from there I get the bus. To, sorry, the bus. <laughs> Another boat to Nirvana. So, um, how long it is from Tadri Port, which is where I am now, to Agni River? I don't know, but I will sure find out. And how long it is from Agni River to Nirvana? Again, I don't know, but I will find out. Sometimes when you travel in India, um, order and organisation uh, are non-existent. That's why I think vlogs are, re are a really good way for people to find out how to get to secret places. And the boat is uh, arriving, so we'll just wait for these guys to get off once the boat has stopped, and then we'll be getting on. the boat it's an auto to Kaggle mm. that's what I mean it's a major secret passage and nobody really knows about uh, it one not even the locals so yeah uh, I am now in an auto to Kaggle after getting off at the Agnashi or Agshi River Agnashni the auto driver said Agnashni River but I will show you the Aganashni River on the way back. It's lovely and it's a nice little village. But for now, I'm just in an auto. So he's he charged 200 rupees to go seven kilometers, but I've got a little discount. Depends how much you've water. So, um, yeah, we're on the way to Nirvana. of pure, pure nature. As for suffering, I kind of get that because I often think everybody suffers, but what suffering can you have when everything's so peaceful? And it, on the way to Nirvana, on the way to reaching Nirvana, there were just these beautiful, quaint little villages. And it's almost like a very, very spiritual journey. And I would certainly ha highly recommend this trip, especially now that I've flushed out the secret passage to get to Nirvana. There's just not enough time to stay on this beach at oh, all. It's just that there's just, it just feels as if, if I was here for days and days and days, it still wouldn't be enough time. 
Oh, so I'm going to have to come back and have a swim and spend a oh, lot more time here, yeah, because I just cannot get enough of this piece. And they often say that everything is a state of impermanence, and even just my little bit of piece here is going to be a state of impermanence, which, again, can lead to disappointment. But if we don't desire anything, then we'll never be disappointed. Ooh, this is really, really thought provoking for sure. So you can go into Nirvana Nature if you want to use some bathroom toilet facilities, that's fine. And as you saw along the way, there are like, you know, plenty of tea shops where you can stop for tea and snacks. So you're not sure of anything as you come to Nirvana. So I'm on the way back now to Agashni village. So really looking forward to that via Agile village. So Raju has now brought me back to uh, Agana is that it? Aganasi? Aganashini. Aganashini. To Aganashini. And we're in his brother's cafe now and I'm gonna have some banana buns. So I paid 400 rupees round trip with the waiting time at Nirvana Beach. So I'll eat my banana buns and then I will give you a tour of Aganashini village. So Raju's friends, hi! Hi Mayesh, he's Raju's brother, hi Raju. <laughs> so Mayesh has made me some absolutely gorgeous banana buns. I cannot wait to tuck in. Mm, they're amazing, I love banana buns. So you can come here for your uh, lunch for sure alternatively you can pack a picnic and have it on nirvana beach and take some swimwear but if you are swimming on nirvana beach um just be mindful that you're going to be near villages so ensure that you cover up before actually leaving the beach um area i'm definitely going to come back with my swimwear for sure and probably do a picnic on the beach and bring my friends well, that was one lovely lunch of banana buns, only 30 rupees, which is about 30 pence UK wise or 50 cents dollars wise. So absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous lunch, of course excellent value for money and the service was very, very hospitable. So yeah, I can never say the name of this place, Anashtari, Anashtari River. So I would never see this place if I didn't venture out and find this secret passage to Nirvana. I'd have never seen Kajal, the gorgeous little village of Kajal. I'd have never seen that little fishing village on the way here, you know, the first village we went to when I got off the bus. So it's really good to just go out and find secret passages and introduce them to other people so they can get um, a really good feel and a really good taste of what local life is all about here in South India. And we've got the Agastini village shop opposite the Agastini river. And they say that Agastini, not that I know whether I'm pronouncing that correctly or not, sorry, is an island. It's an island off Gokana. Beautiful bay. And over there is where I'm going to get my boats back. Definitely an amazing, amazing day. You're finding the secret passage. 
Well, it was a secret. The secret is definitely out now. And I would say it's possible to spend a good while on the Barna Beach because the first bus um, from Go Corner out to Tadbury Port is 7.15 a.m. And then actually the first boat from Tadbury Port to um, Agastia, uh, like I said, I can't pronounce it. That is, again, 7.15 a.m. and it goes every 15 minutes. Last boat back, I think, is around about five-ish. And then last bus back, uh, that's uh, back to Tadbury Port. And then Tadbury Port bus back to Go Corner is, um, I think, around about seven. So it's possible to have a full day with your picnics and your swimwear, for sure. And of course, see all the little villages along the way. So, I am home safe. I would say that Nirvana Beach is definitely worth it because it's absolutely beautiful. It's the beauty of the earth. I love the fact that it's really, really quiet and just so chilled. Now, I thought that would be the only bonus as a quiet, chilled paradise beach. But now I got to see three villages along the way and got on a boat ride and had a massive, massive adventure. So, as promised, I am going to compare um, Nevana Beach to Cuddly Beach and Orm Beach, which are more the tourist hotspots. So, today I am out and about and exploring uh, Cuddly Beach and Orm Beach, which are really more for tourists. And believe me, if you put those two beaches together, you will get one big crazy beach. There's a lot of people having fun on Cuddly Beach and on Beach this weekend, for sure. So, as you saw, the beaches have got clothes shops, you know, where the clothes hang on the tree. They're selling coconuts. They can sell fruit. So, again, all your facilities are here. And, of course, the street vendors that are selling jewellery, that are selling charts. So, yeah, and a lot of fun to be had. You can just let go and you can buy alcohol, you can smoke. So, as you can see, it is the polar opposite of Nirvana, Nirvana Beach. Go to Nirvana and you reach Nirvana. Just total peace, peace, peace. So, in my experience, tourists like a bit of a balance. They like coming to Cuddly Beach and Orm Beach for the tourist activities I guess which you know shopping and going in the sea taking boat rides 
having lots of fun in the sand, having fun with your mates. That's a very Scouse expression. Having fun with your friends, perhaps. <laughs> I was uh, born and raised in Liverpool, <laughs> just to put that one in. So I think for me personally, it's probably, uh, I'm swinging more towards Nirvana because I see traditional villages. I see a beautiful spiritual beach. But what do you prefer? Put it in the comment section below. Do you prefer a bit of a balance when you come here on your holidays? Do you prefer just more of one thing, such as the Nirvana Beach and the meeting the locals? Or do you only prefer the major tourist hotspots? Let's get um, a poll of opinions going. Let's get a discussion going in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. So I'm thinking I will end the vlog here today. Thank you very much for joining me on Three Beach Journeys. The beautiful Nirvana with the villages, the trek to get there. So all those that want to go, I hope that I fulfilled your needs for you with that one. Um, so you know the drill. If you like the video, then you press the thumbs up button. So as I was saying, I'm going to end the vlog. Shanti, shanti, shanti. Om Namah Shivaya. Kisses. Mwah. And see you on the next vlog and bye for now.